everybody. I'm Carl Love and I'm here at the Bell Baptist Association and I want to share with you today a presentation of the gospel and it's based on one verse of scripture Romans 6 23 and in the Bible it tells us in Romans 6 23 that for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord so my goal today is to share with you um, a way that you can present the gospel using this one verse of scripture and it can be used at a block party, it can be used at a lock-in, a fall festival, there's all different applications that you can use it. Uh, you can share on a napkin in a restaurant uh, with, with a friend or with someone that you're having lunch with. There's all types of applications but I just want to share the presentation with you this morning and hopes that you will be able to use it uh, in church events or in personal witnessing. So I'm just going to walk through the presentation with you uh, and show you how it works. So today I would like to share uh, this passage for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so we're going to focus on several words uh, individually in this passage of scripture. And the first word that I want us to look at is this word wages. Now, when you think of wages, what comes to mind? It's something that you've earned for doing a job. So most of the time we think of wages, uh, that's our paycheck. And so wages are something that we have earned for something that we have done. So how would you feel if your boss or someone you did a job for withheld your wages or they uh, kept from you what you had earned, it would make you upset probably. But wages are something that we have earned for something that we have done. The second word that I want us to look at here is this word sin. So when you hear the word sin, what do you think of? Now, we don't always uh, know what the definition of sin is, but usually when we hear the word sin, we think of something that's bad. Well, in the Bible, sin is anything that we think or say or do that is not pleasing to God. Sin is anything that we think or say or that we do that would make God unhappy. That is what sin is. The next word I would like us to look at is this word, death. What do you think of when you hear the word death? Well, most of the time when we hear the word death, it makes us sad, doesn't it? Well, I want us to know that in the Bible, death means a kind of separation. Uh, specifically, that you and I you and I have been separated from God that's what the Bible tells us that death is death is separation from God if you'll notice there's this great uh, chasm between uh, the person and God between you and I and God so the wages of our sin, what we have earned for our sin, is death, which is separation from God. And that sounds bad, doesn't it? It sounds really bad. But, this is probably the most important but in the whole scripture. But, I've got good news. I've got really good news for you and for me. And that leads us to the next word in this passage, gift. Gift. So if the word wages is something that we earn, then what is a gift? A gift is something that we receive for free. A gift is something that at Christmas or at our birthday that we're given without 
any cost to us. Isn't that wonderful? How do you feel when you receive a gift? It makes you feel pretty good, doesn't it? God is our next word there. God loves you and he loves me so much that he has a free gift for us. It's kind of like at Christmas time when you have that gift and it's all wrapped pretty and it's got a bow on it and it has that little tag and it has your name on it. Well, did you know that God has a, a free gift for you and for me? And it's because he loves us so much. And you say, well, what is that free gift? Well, that free gift is eternal life. Eternal life. So if death is eternal separation from God, then eternal life is to be with God forever in heaven. And that's the free gift that he has for you and he has for me because he loves us so much. God loves us so much that he wants us to live with him forever in heaven. And so we see the wage of sin is death, which has separated us from God. But God's free gift to us is eternal life. That's good news. Let's go back to the gift for a minute. When it's your birthday and you receive that special gift from people that you love, that gift is free to you. It didn't cost you anything. But... Someone had to pay for it, didn't they? Whether it was your mom, whether it was your friend, someone had to pay for that gift. And even though God loves us so much that his gift of eternal life is free, somebody had to pay for that gift. And that somebody is Jesus Christ. See, Jesus Christ paid that price for our sin. See, what we had earned for our sin was death. But Jesus, through his sacrifice on the cross, he paid that price so that we could have the free gift of eternal life from God. Isn't that incredibly good news? And now, through Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross, we have access to God. We can be reconnected with God. Now, even though this gift is free to you and to me, we have to trust Jesus as our Savior and Lord. So I want to ask you today, have you ever trusted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? The Bible tells us that once we realize that what we have earned for our sin is death, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. When we come to trust Him as our Savior, we get to experience that free gift. And I want to ask you today, have you ever trusted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Have you ever accepted that free gift of eternal life to spend in heaven with God? If you haven't, I want to encourage you to do that today. And I would be willing to show you how. This is a simple uh, five, six minute presentation uh, using the one verse of scripture, Romans 6.23. And I really hope that through this presentation, you will be able to uh, take advantage of it, to present it at uh, events in your church, or as I said, on a napkin in a restaurant. However God gives you the opportunity, uh, the divine appointment to present it, I just want to encourage you to use it. And I just thank you for uh, allowing me to share and I just hope you use it. Thank you.